in this demonstration I'm going to show you how to make this um, swirl necklace and connectors and if I just bring that a little bit closer you can see um, we've got beautiful pink opal um, sat in the centre of that um, silver wire pendant and it has a swirl on the back and then we've also got these um, swirl connectors that tie the whole piece um, together. Now the, the gemstones in the kit are beautiful and um, we've got pink opal but they're almost pink opal cabochons so each one is a cabochon but with the benefit of a drill hole so that helps you um, in your design and it helps you to secure the gemstones in um, various different ways. So I'm going to show you firstly how to make this centre section, how to set the um, the opal and to make the, the detail. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that to, to the side just there. Okay, so we've got that to refer to. Move that to there. There we go. Right, okay. So to start off with, we need to make um, a circle of, um, of the wire. Now I work um, directly from the reel. Um, obviously so we're, we're not going to waste any but just for the purposes of the um, demonstration I'm actually going to cut off a length just so that you can see exactly what I'm doing okay so now uh, the tools that you're going to need uh, you're going to need a mandrel um, to shape this so I'm using a um, a ring mandrel uh, and uh, for me it's great because it means you've got the various sizes and the strand of opal um, cabochons are actually graduated, so it means that you can sort of make make the um, appropriate size for the appropriate cabochon. Okay, so I'm going to actually wrap around. We're going to leave a tail here, just uh, an inch or so um, at, at this end, and I'm going to wrap around. So I'm going to start quite small on the ring mandrel because the wire will spring out. So we've wrapped around once where we cross over. Okay, so I'm going to wrap around again. Try and keep these two wires here together because we need that to be nice and neat. So I'm, I'm wrapping around again until we meet at that point there. So we've got our circle and we've crossed over. So we've got three wires at the top, but then we've got two all the way around. Don't worry if it's a little bit open because we are going to um, wrap these together with the um, with 0.4 wire. Okay. So now we're at that stage. I'm just going to size that up really. I'm going to push it down the ring mandrel. To, um, to an appropriate size for the cabochon that I'm going to use. I'm going to take that, pop that down. So I'm going to use this cabochon, so I'm just going to sit that and that I'm quite happy with that, that sort of um, size there. So that's going to sit at the top of that pendant and, that, and that's quite nice because it gives me a bit of room at the bottom there, okay? So once you've got that, that size that you want, we need to leave a tail on this side also. Um, because we're going to make a swirl on both sides. So we're going to leave that one a little bit longer because I'm actually going to make the bail from this section. Okay. So we've got our, our, our circle and our two little tails there. So I'm just going to pop it back onto the ring mandrel just to get that, that shape. Just make sure we're, we've still got that nice shape there. Okay. So now I'm just going to bring these out and lift them up slightly. So now what we need to do, we need to secure our gemstone into this and into the position there okay so to do that we're going to use some 0.4 wire so as i said earlier um the opals have got a, a really nice drill hole and it's drilled at the top um, so if you wanted to use that as a cabochon and not see the drill hole that's fine you can do that because it's really discreet um but it's nicely drilled so it sits the wire sits across the top just there so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to pop that you can either pop it on the top or behind okay so we're just going to pop that in position 